Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the webinar series for Company Stores. So this is going to be a three-part series that we cover uh, top to bottom company stores, starting off with uh, how to get started, uh, what custom products are. That'll be in part one. Uh, and we'll also talk about um, our new uh, product templates that we've created will be a part of part one, too, and how to utilize that. Part two will be going more in depth into custom products, how to create them, how to edit them, um, how to then add them to a product list. And then part three will be uh, how to then transition all those products over onto a company store website. So before we get started, first we get asked a lot, what's custom product? So a custom product is considered a product that's copied over from the supplier in our database. Um, or one created from scratch for suppliers that aren't in our database. And basically what you're doing is you're having the ability to fully customize it, change the pricing, quantity, images, description, et cetera, um, and make it orderable on your website or your company store. In order to do that, you need to have a fulfillment account, a child account, and the type is the fulfillment account. And so what you can do is once you log in, um, if you come over here to your account tab, go to child accounts. If you have a fulfillment account already, you'll see one here. And we only recommend one fulfillment account, um, even if you have multiple stores, because uh, you can create multiple different product lists to send them to the store they need to go to. So if you go here and you don't see a fulfillment account, um, this would be possibly a fulfillment account would be there if you've already created one, or if you created one, you know, a long time ago and it's just, it's been in there, you didn't even know about it. So if it's here, you'll see a login, click the login. If you don't have one like here that it's showing right now, what you'll do is you'll come over to products and go to my products fulfillment account. And what that's going to do is automatically create a fulfillment account for you, as you can see here. So now I have a fulfillment account and this is where I'm going to house all my custom products. So once I'm in the fulfillment account, um, and if you, let's say you want to come back to this, I'll show you real quick. So you'll come up here to your initials, click switch, account, switch accounts, go back to your account, child accounts, and you'll see that fulfillment like I talked about, log in so you can access everything through your main account. So now we're in the fulfillment account, and now I'm going to talk to you about our new uh, feature with the product templates. So basically what we've done and you can see here at dc-stores.dc promo site, we've created a handful of product templates. Currently, there's about 20 of them. We uh, chose from the top suppliers and picked some of their products and basically created a simplified version of the product that you can utilize. You can use them all if you want, um, and you can also uh, pick and choose which ones you want. Uh, what I recommend doing is if you're not going to use these, um, I recommend at least copying over a uh, one of the hard goods and one of the apparel items to use as a template. And I'll go into more detail in that um, in the next video. So this is how where it is located, the dc-stores.dcpromosite.com, and I'll provide a link for you guys. Um, and so the way you access these is it's under a uh, private account of ours. So if you come in here, to your fulfillment account, go to products, go to uh, advanced features, and then we're going to go to copy supplier products. Uh, here where it says supplier account, you're going to look for uh, DC stores. And you'll scroll down here and you'll see it's nine account number 957298. So we're going to select that. And then you're going to pick one of the item numbers. So in this case, I got one selected that I want to use. Uh, just leave everything checked. Now, when you're copying a product over from the suppliers, not this private for the uh, the product templates, but regular suppliers, there'll be different uh, data to copy that we recommend. And you'll see that in the next video. So as far as copying it over from the private account that we have with the simplified products of the for the product templates, you can just leave these all checked and then click submit. And then now I'm going to go back to form. I'm going to go to supplier account again, DC, go to the stores, and I'm going to copy a hard good item over. Hit submit. And now I have both a hard good and an apparel item. So now I can go click home, 
go to product list, or you can come over here to products and add edit products, either one. You can see those items are copied in, uh, ready to go. And so all I need to do now is if I want to change the pricing, I could edit this product. So like for instance, on this polo, if I came in here, clicked on pricing, and let's say I want to change this to uh, $40 instead of 42 as the default, I'll just change that to 40, hit save. Now I also, with the, with the pricing, um, the way it works on the apparel is there's pricing on the product level and there's pricing on the choices. So just to kind of give you a brief breakdown of a custom product, we're looking at this example for a polo. So the choices would be the color and the size, the option. So the choices would be the color and the size. So you're looking at like, you know, uh, red, white, and blue is example, uh, small, medium, large, extra large for sizes. Those are all choices. The option would be the actual product color and product size. And then the product is just going to be like the name of the product, the item, the description, image, pricing. Um, so the product level is the easiest one to do. Um, so I always recommend if you can go start in the choices and kind of work your way back. So in this case, I changed the pricing on this item for uh, the polo. I also need to come in here and go to edit choices. You can also go over here again and go products, edit choices. And what we did is when we set this up is we utilize the item number throughout the choices and the options to make it easier. Um, because normally when you copy it over from the supplier as is with all the options and choices, and like I said, we'll go into that more into the next video, but they might have a SKU number that's really long now. They know what that means and they know what product number that goes to, but when you copy it over, you're getting it as is and you have no idea what that means. So we tried to simplify it for you with these product templates that you can use either as is, or you can use it um, as a template to create your own. And like I said, that'll get explained more in the next video. So with the one I'm looking at, um, if I type in the item number DC-AP5, you can see here that it only pulls those up. So as I mentioned here, each color, each size is a choice. And then it's just connecting all those choices to an option for product color and size. And so I'll kind of go through that here real quickly so you can see that. So let's say that I wanted to, since I changed the pricing to $40, if I, I need to come in here and change the pricing on all these. So small through um, extra large is gonna be the $40. So I need to come in here and do that. And I'm just gonna do it on small and then you get the idea, just do it for medium, large, uh, extra large. And then the bigger sizes, so the 2XL, let's say that's gonna be $2 more. So now instead of that being 44, which is what it pulled in with the price, I click edit, go to pricing, that's gonna get dropped to 42. And then I just need to make sure that I have all the pricing updated for the larger sizes. So you're listing the full cost with the upcharge in there. Uh, another thing you can do is if you wanted to add another color, um, so like right now it's got black and brilliant orange um, as the colors to choose from and navy. Um, so let's say you wanted to add white. You could literally come in here to one of the choices that's already created, click add similar, and then just change the color here from black to white. going to be the same item number, hit save, and then you would continue to do that on, just click add similar and do that for medium, large, extra large, however, what size you go up to. Once you get all that done, then you'll jump over to the options and you can see here, there's the item number again. So I'm going to click edit here and now I can go to choices. And from choices, you can see the one that I just created, the white small so i move that over hit save go to ordering to make sure it's all in order and we'll like i said we'll go over more detailed in the next video just want to show you guys an example so i've already put these in order but i want this to be at the bottom so i'm going to shoot that to the bottom because i want it to go white small white medium i want to continue on with that uh, hit save 
and then you're good to go. So the only other thing that you'll need to get the product actually onto your website is create a product list. And we'll discuss that uh, in the next video. But just wanted to show you guys this option. Um, it's new um, and it makes things a lot easier. If you are looking for something as far as a company store, you know what products to use. Or if you're having trouble creating a custom product from scratch, you can copy over a apparel item, like I said, and also a hard good item and use that as a base template uh, to create your product. So in the next video, uh, we'll touch base on this again and we'll go into more detail and also show you how to copy over a product from the actual supplier um, suppliers that are in our database and how to what options to what to select to copy over on that that was different from what we chose here on the new uh, product uh, the product templates so stay tuned for that video and also stay tuned for help more helpful videos